Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back. Here I am showing how to create serverless Rust API using Express and Firebase Cloud Functions. Oh, I forgot. That is nothing but if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe this channel. Now to video. You know, it is very easy. First, you have to create a project in the Firebase through your Gmail ID. Here enter your project name. I enter API demo and click continue. Now click on create project till it is almost done. Here we create a test mode database. Okay, it is done. Now I am creating a folder and named uh, Rust API. Then I am open command prompt and set uh, directory as Rust API. Before beginning, we have to set up our project locally to install Firebase tools npm install minus g Firebase iPhone tools. Then we have to log in into the Firebase account and initialize it. Now, here I am already logged in into my Gmail ID. Now Firebase init. Okay, are you ready to proceed? Yes. And here we have many steps. Uh, select functions by clicking space and enter. And also select use an existing project because we are already created a project. And choose our project name, API demo. Here we can choose TypeScript or JavaScript. Here I am choose TypeScript. Then we can install other dependencies. Go inside the function folder and install the express and body parser. CD functions npm install express body parser minus minus. Uh, now everything is fine. Now we have to open Visual Studio Code and open the folder Rusty API. Then we can choose index.ts too. Now we have to import some libraries such as Firebase functions, Firebase admin, express body parser. And now initialize our app. We are creating express application. So const app express. Just follow my course. This all course are posted in my blog. Uh, link of the blog is given in description. Here we have treat the JSON format, so 
Timmy. db equal to admin dot fast store here we using fast store function now we are creating an interface product This is the structure of our post method. Here we posting inserting product name and product price. After that writing the post method slash serve product it is the end point and posting our values into our interface product After that, we are adding this product into our fire store in the name of product on sales. Product on sales is the name of fire store collection. Now our coding are finished and we have to deploy our Firebase application. Firebase deploy. Wait little time. Okay, we are deployed successfully. Now we can see our endpoint link and copy this and open Postman. and choose post method and add our endpoint sell product into URL. And send. Now we have going to our Firebase database. Okay. Now look here. Collection name, product on sales. And look at here, we are successfully inserted values here. I hope you have get it and I put code in my blog and link in description. You can easily customize these codes. And now I am leaving. Feel free to ask questions in comment box. Bye.